hello guys uh, welcome to another episode of aml talk so today we will be talking about uh, llama models so llama is a like you know open source model uh, by facebook or uh, you can say meta meta so llama like you know provides is a uh, weights and everything so you can either download the models if you have enough resources uh, if you don't have resources and if you want to try llama you can go to meta.ai you can click here so it will redirect you to meta.ai and you can uh, try it out so these llama versions they uh, that they are using currently is 3.1 so let's just ask it out which llama version are you currently using see it's currently using 3.1 but uh, meta has released uh, like 3.3 .3 also so that you can use directly like you know so llama you can see llama has used uh, released 3.2 and 3.3 .3 also so to use that you can use a, a cloud service called uh, like you know grok cloud uh, so let's go to grok cloud and then we'll see so here you can like you know uh, you can also test it out here uh, whatever versions you wish to test it out so there are like llama 3.1 3.2 so 3.3 is also there but i think that is there uh, through the api part okay so uh, what you can do is like you, know, you can go to api keys like you know you go to like console.grok.com and create an account there uh, it's a free thing right now and you can go and create an api out there and that api will uh, give you access uh, to llama uh, new latest versions so llama 3.3 is also available out there so after creating an api key you need to go to the documentation so in the documentation part uh, like you know you can see how you can start working with like you know grok api uh, so there are like you know api differences is available out there so you can click on api differences or you can if you want to just quick start here so you can go here and from there select the python part and copy it out okay and then you can use it in your uh, system so uh, like you can use it in collab or any any place you wish to do uh, or any id that you have so i am currently using vs code so i will show in the vs code part so uh, i've just copied it out here and pasted it the whole thing is pasted already so uh, i have added two extra things that were not there uh, import os and import dot en from dot env import dot uh, load dot env because these two things are uh, required to get this um, uh, like you know key that grok api key so that api key you need to have it in dot env file from where you can uh, call it out okay and then it's just same like you know everything else so you, here you need to mention the model which model you are using so currently this is a sample of llama 3 8, 8 billion so you can if you wish to use uh, like any other thing uh, like you know you can just uh, check the model cards out there and use it you can use mistral or anything uh, so that's not an issue okay so let's see like you know uh, uh, how it works so what we will do we will uh, start with our uh, virtual environment so my virtual environment is grok env slash bin slash activate okay now we need to just run it python grok llama sorry grok llama dot py yeah so see how fast it is so grok grok has like you know uh, uh, one of the best lpus so they are having like you know language processing units uh, out there and uh, they have the fastest response time uh, of any of the cloud that is available as of now uh, so you can see the how they have answered so fast language models have become uh, like an increasing point in today's landscape due to their ability to quickly process and generate large amount of natural data so this is how it is okay so uh, like you know i hope you'll start building something out of it and you can go to grok.com sign up and get the key and start using any of the llms that you wish to use it uh, there are multimodal versions also that also you can use okay i hope you have liked uh, liked my video so do like share and subscribe Thank you everyone.